Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing the series of looking at welcome videos. I've got five welcome videos to look over today and offer some constructive criticism on. I thought I would take a second just to explain though, why welcome videos? Well, welcome videos are one of the very first videos that you'll create if you're just getting started in the world of video marketing. You wanna talk a little bit about who you are, what problems you solve, you want to establish some sort of a connection with the viewer and really start to build trust. It's also kind of like the icebreaker. A lot of times when I'll go and visit a business, the very first thing that we'll do is record welcome videos. The purpose being we'll put that on YouTube, we'll put it on social media, we'll even put it on the website or in the signature file of your email. It's a great way to introduce yourself to other people. I even use this when I send out proposals. I'll have a welcome video that will kind of walk through who I am and the problems that I solve and how I can help. I do wanna kind of just quickly review what makes a welcome video great. You need to introduce yourself. You need to look directly at the camera and talk about the problem that you solve. I like to think that I'm talking to only one person at a time when I'm recording uh, a video. You need to keep it short and you also need to think about what's in it for them. With that lens of looking through these videos, let's dig right in. So this first one is from NCH Healthcare System and this is an introducing the new CEO message. I was strongly attracted to this job right from the start because NCH is known nationally for their attention to and passion around quality patient care. I was born and raised in Northern Kentucky, Greater Cincinnati, attended Xavier University, attended graduate school and got a master's degree in health administration. I've been the CEO of medical groups, accountable care organizations, and acute care hospitals in highly competitive markets. That was all great. This is the best because NCH is a locally governed health system and I'm a strong believer in community health systems. Well, healthcare brought us together because we, we met working in the same hospital back in Cincinnati, Ohio. We've always been active in our communities and we want to give something back every, wherever we go. We, we okay. Really I'm assuming that's his wife. Can we get her a name plate on the screen or maybe can you say what her name is or better yet, let her say something? Seems weird. Forward to doing that in Naples too. Every leadership opportunity in healthcare has to do with spreadsheets and numbers, but this is a lot more than that. This is about connection to the community, partnerships with doctors, excellence in patient care. That's why I want to be in Naples. I bring a high degree of transparency and openness to my leadership. That high level of transparency really increases collaboration and brings out the best in everybody. I want people to know that I'm as excited to be in healthcare today as I was when I got into it 25 years ago. I want you to know that I'm accessible and that I'm interested in hearing what's on your mind and where you think we need to go. I mean, especially because his wife is in half of the scenes here. We don't know what her name is. There have been a lot of changes in Naples. I know it. I get it. But I'm excited to be a part of this change. The independent medical staff, the independent medical community is an important part of this fabric. It makes Naples unique. I really look forward to being a part of that. However, one thing that won't change, NCH will always be a community hospital. The focus on community is a good one. It's a small community hospital um, or healthcare system, but that should probably be near the beginning. Like rest assured, nothing's changing, right? If that, that maybe that's a concern that people have. I'm not sure. I don't really know their business that well, but I think that's an important message. It maybe should have been moved up. What I know so far about the Naples community is that they're interested in excellence, and so am I. So together, what we're going to be doing is moving us to the Leapfrog A, to the CMS five star and other publicly reported metrics that verify we are, in fact, one of the best in the country. I can't wait to get started at NCH. The people are amazing. Show me some people. I haven't seen any people. 
The opportunity is amazing and the foundation has been laid to create a world-class health system. He's not the worst I've seen. He seems like a very affable person. Uh, he seems pretty well-spoken. I mean, you could feel like maybe he's not totally comfortable being on camera, but there's like a nice quality, like an earnest quality to that. Seems like a good dude. Um, I would probably rearrange the, the information. I think the information was okay. Um, I think I would rearrange it to bring the community aspect up to the beginning because it seems like what they leaned on pretty heavily and I definitely would have introduced his wife. So anyway, let's look at the next one. This one is Act Blue, Regina Wallace Jones, CEO and president of Act Blue. I like that the whole image is a picture of Regina. Um, she's looking at the camera and um, she's smiling because so I think that's good. We're off to a good start. Let's check this one out. It's when you're working on something that's for everyone. That's when you're working on something that's most important. I'm Regina Wallace-Jones and that's the principle that guided me as an Obama organizer. It guided me as the mayor of a town founded on black opportunity. It guided me as an executive at the major technology companies of this country. It's the reason I'm so excited to be part of the next chapter of Act Blue. Okay. Intro is outstanding. Uh, music, maybe not so much. She's got great eye contact. It's great pacing. We've seen where she's been. We've seen what she's what she does. And we've seen her with the team, and it's all in 30 seconds. Nice graphics. This is really this is good so far. I like the captioning. Is, is perfect. This is Corey Booker. I am so excited for my Stanford classmate, Regina. Congratulations on being president and CEO of the amazing, awesome Act Blue, empowering so many to be so engaged and actually making a real difference when it comes to our U.S. elections and ultimately our U.S. political culture. I actually didn't realize uh, starting this up that this was a political organization. I still think that this is amazingly well done. I'm kind of adverse to politics, but I, I think that this is really well done. I like how she has other people speaking and t t talking about her and what she does and, and their excitement. I think that's really, really good. And the B-roll is great. Political system and change that we all hope to make. You are a phenomenal leader, Regina. I am excited for you. Uh, I know you are not only up for this leadership, but that you are going to be a light worker in that position helping us to continue as a nation uh, to grow stronger and better and be ultimately a more perfect union. When you get really deeply into the technology world like I have, you see firsthand how technology is used to build barriers or break them down. To break barriers, you work every day to make sure your product is designed to meet the needs of your customers no matter how big or small. And you make sure it's absolutely rock solid. But I know from personal experience the technology is really just the beginning. I do like video clips showing people working and doing things, not just sitting in their office, just talking at the camera. I really like that. It is a means to an end. And the great thing about coming to Act Blue is that I get to tap into all these talented people who have a sense of mission, who ask, how do we solve problems? How do we help democratic campaigns and progressive organizations function at their best? And how do we find new ways every day to bring more donors to the process? How do we be the best partner in the fight for justice, for climate, for reproductive rights, and for democracy? I think folks across the democratic and progressive ecosphere are going to really love working with Regina. They're going to find her to be an eager partner with the experience and know-how to meet their needs. Over 20 plus years, Regina's led the way on the quality reliability, security, and dependability of some remarkable products. What I really love about this is that it's so e this is this is a great tip in here. It's so easy to ask other people to just use their phone, you know, and just record something, you know, just like say something that I can cut into a video. And this is a technique that I really like to use 
uh, with the businesses I work with is just to have people contribute and then just cut it into the video. And you can see how they do it. It's really nice, you know, like it feels like it belongs in this format, even though it's, you know, shot on a phone. She's an engineer's engineer. And yet her work doesn't come from some zeal for the technology. It stems from a spirit of innovation and a faith in what's possible when we build great things together. Regina knows from product and politics and public service that you never stop working to be the best possible partner for your community. I'm so excited to have her here at ActBlue. As CEO of ActBlue, I'm going to make sure this organization brings a whole lot of light, a whole lot of energy, and a whole lot of fight. And we're gonna do it with joy. We're out to be the best listeners and the most reliable partners. ActBlue has this magical combination of head and heart. And that's why I'm so honored to take on the next chapter of this great organization. I thought that was a very well executed video. Um, you know, political things aside, just the way that it's paced, the, the amount of different shots in the video, the fact that she's looking at the camera, she seems very relatable, and other people are validating uh, the excitement about having her there. It's not just one person talking. So I feel like that one was pretty well executed. Okay, this next one. This one is from the Patient Safety Movement. New CEO's welcome message. Hi, I'm Dave Mayer, uh, the new CEO for the Patient Safety Movement. I am just so honored and humble that Joe reached out to me and asked if I would assume the leadership role for the patient safety movement. So the reason I think that he looks like he kind of has a little bit of a like a deer in the headlights look is because he's not reading a teleprompter. He's somebody standing there or they have a tripod or whatever. and He's just he's talking to the camera. And this is where. If you notice when I talk to the camera, I don't look at the camera every moment. It's okay to like look around and take in your surroundings. It's okay to fidget or move around a little bit, you know, like that's real. He is just like locked into place and he's just staring at the camera. So that's, that's why he has that look. There's probably also a bright light in his face. You could see reflected in his pupils. Um, so this is more of a case of making the, the talent comfortable and loosening them up a little bit, but he is actually doing the right thing, just looking into the camera and talking. I hope I could live up to Joe's expectations and, and continue to move the organization. I'd love to know who Joe is too, um, or, who, or who he is for that matter. To the next level, it takes a village and it takes hundreds and thousands of people to really make it happen. We need to build on that and continue the great momentum and leadership that Joe has set for all of us. Okay, that was it. That was 45 seconds. Not executed especially well, in my opinion. Um, I don't really know much about the patient safety movement now. Like, I don't know anything about them. Um, I don't know who Joe is. I didn't see who he was. Um, he looked, he looked uncomfortable, but he did, he, but from a technique standpoint of, of, of establishing and looking into the camera, he was doing good. I also really like the shot. It shows action and things going on in the background. I don't know anything about what they do, but like there, there were parts of this that I thought were good. Uh, but parts, I, I think if, if he was going to do this again, I would like, I put on some music, I crack some jokes, just something to get him to loosen up a little bit. Okay, Mac. All right, this one's called Mac. New employee welcome video. So it's a welcome video. This is more targeted to employees. Maybe we'll get to hear some employees talking. And this isn't, as far as I know, this is not a CEO welcome message, but it is a welcome message. So let's go ahead and watch it. It's two minutes. I've been at the Mac going on five years. I've been here almost eight years. I've worked here for six months. I've worked here for about two years almost 10 years and i've worked at the mac for two and a half years just move the camera a foot over so they can look into it i've been with the mac for five years now and uh enjoying every every day of it 
My first day at the MAC, um, when I initially showed up, I was kind of nervous, you know, new job, everybody goes through that. Yeah, I remember walking in the door, I was just so eager to work here, I was so excited. It was interesting to see all the things that encompass an airport. Well, honestly, I think I felt a little bit overwhelmed. I really like that community feeling, and I was really concerned about coming to such a large organization that uh, that would be lost. And coming here, that was not lost. Right away, I was part of a new family, and they took me right in. The work culture here is very outgoing, and the management really seems to care, and they're open to new ideas. Interesting thing that they did here is they changed the music, and that can be an effective technique for moving people along. Uh, the video, the story, um, changing the mood. If, if, if they're talking about something that's somber, maybe you have some somber music. If they're talking about something exciting, maybe you have some more upbeat music. Um, I think that... I think that both the songs kind of are not that great, but it is a good technique to use music to kind of switch things up a little bit. So I think that that was good. Again, I just, my, my main, my main critique of this is having a video where people are looking off camera. That's okay for an interview, but for a welcome, it doesn't make me feel more welcome if they're not looking at me. We really cherish the perspectives from new employees as, as they come in. I feel appreciated here. There's always somebody there to support you. That one's especially egregious. This shot. Where is he looking? Where is this? Where is the guy shooting them? I mean, this camera is dead on. Just have him pivot and look at the camera. It just, it makes me... It makes me uncomfortable. Whether it's your boss, your immediate boss. That's fine, but have the other camera looking at him. Or other managers in other departments. It can take a long time to really feel confident in what you're doing here, but if you build those relationships early and often, you have somebody to lean back on. When I come to work, we sit down and we work and get the job done, but we also have fun. It's like work doesn't feel like work. Everyone doesn't matter if they've been here for as long as I have or been here for 30 years. It seems like they all have a positive attitude and want to come to work and they enjoy coming to work. I have never seen a work ethic and a compassionate group of people that really work together and uh, to accomplish a, a common goal. It's a dream job come true. The setups are really nice. This is a great setup. It's lit really well. I just knew this was going to be a place for me. It's a very nice experience. You've got great people looking after you. As a new employee, you're going to look back in 10 years and say, wow, what a great decision I made. Uh, we are honored to have you as part of our team and part of the MAC uh, family. And we look forward to working with you to continue to expand your career, uh, hopefully for many years here. So I'm going back to um, the things that we should be looking for in these types of videos. There was an introduction of yourself, um, not so much what problem was solved. Um, I, I contact, we already know. Um, talking to one person, kind of, yeah, we use words like you, um, but very, very sparingly. I'm not sure what the call to action is. Should be like, join our team. Like we have, like there's this exciting stuff going on. I mean, it's implicit in people like to come to work here and they have a positive attitude, but like we want you to come in here. This is what we're looking for in terms of a skill set. Here's the type of people that we want and just be very direct, you know, move some hands a little bit. Um, what's in it for them? I don't know. And keep it short. It was like, how, how long was that video? That video was... Two minutes, 12 seconds, kind of short. I feel like this could have been a one minute video as well, but not bad. Okay, this last one, Fusion CSO. I got no idea what Fusion CSO is. So I'm gonna be looking for, this is what we do. This is the problem that we solve. This is what's in it for you. Um, call to action. Keep it short. This is a four. This is the longest video so far, four and a half minutes. So, let's see. Hi, Fusion Power customer. My name is Jared Gillespie. I'm the president and CEO of Fusion Power. Okay. Audio zero out of ten. I don't know who shot this. Well, I can see who shot it because I can see in the reflection. So that's another thing. Um, 
I don't mind breaking the wall and showing people. You can see how far away the guy is. And he must be using some sort of like a, an on mic boom uh, or on mic, a shotgun mic. So he's standing far away. It's a windy day. Probably doesn't have a windsock on the or any kind of foam on the mic. So you're just hearing a <laughs> bunch of noise. Power. Today, I want to give you a quick tour of our facility and introduce you to Fusion Power. It's a nasty Let's take a look. sound hum in there Fusion too. Power was established in 2017 and we've quickly grown to be one of Arizona's top ranked solar companies. We've installed over top ranked solar company, Arizona. Okay. Um, just from, so this one, this one seems like right off the bat, there's some technical problems with it. It's overexposed a little bit, uh, and the audio is, is pretty bad. 4,500 solar uh, systems in the last four years alone. Our experienced staff and our team has overseen over 9,000 installs in our combined experience over the last several years. Now what's different about this video than every other one that we've looked at so far? The, the subject is in motion and they're moving around and exploring space, which I love. I think that that, that is something that makes the video memorable to me. I'm walking through the space. I'm seeing things go on. Not only, but the cameraman's actually walking backwards, which is, which is a high degree of difficulty for handheld shots like this. I wish the other things were just executed a little bit better. Uh, the audio and the exposure, uh, the exposure is not, not terrible. When you're going from indoor to outdoor, it's very difficult. I should probably stop talking. Let's just watch more of this video. Fusion Power is a fully integrated solar company. We don't sub out any of our work to subcontractors. From the beginning until the end, we do everything along the way. From the sales consultation to the design and, and site survey, utilities, permitting, customer service, and the installation. We do all of our own service. The corporate music has got to fucking go though in the background. I have to, I do have to stop just to say that it's, it's service and all of our own electric work as well. Having two NAPSEP certified technicians on our staff. We also do all of our own customer service and you'll be apprised at every juncture along the way. Getting set up with solar is not the easiest process. It's very involved and it touches a lot of different hands. You'll be alerted al along the process with text messages, emails, and phone calls to let you know how your process is going. Our ops department is full. Of so this is really a tour. I mean, it even says in the description, but I mean, the title is it's a welcome video, but it's really a tour. So with that, with that context, I probably would have had him mic'd so that when his head, when he's walking and he's not looking at the camera because he's looking where he's going, like if I'm, I'm still picking up him talking, you can see how when I go like this, all of a sudden you can't really hear me as well as when I'm talking directly into the microphone fully trained solar professionals that have been doing solar for several years. In order to fulfill your project, we have to have a lot of inventory. When we're installing as many systems as we do each month, we've got to have everything on hand ready to install once we're able to get your permit and your utility approval to get that solar system put up on your roof. So everything is stored here in our, in our warehouse. In our 12,000. So he must have some sort of a light on the camera because I could see the reflection on his forehead. And he's going from indoor to outdoor, um, which is a high degree of difficulty with the exposure. Square foot warehouse. We're able to contain all of does. the electrical. See the shine all over his forehead? His face looks like he's getting blasted with light. And which solar is, equipment needed need that, to install actually. for all of our customers. We try to have the best equipment available for our customers with 25 year warranties on our equipment and many of our lenders will provide additional warranties beyond that. At Fusion, we wanna make sure that you feel confident in the work that we do and so we offer a 10 year workmanship guarantee on your roof penetrations and any other work that we do on your property. Each day we stage our next day's installs ready to load up. Our crews will show here, uh, especially during the hot summer months, they'll get here around 4.30 in the morning to head out and try and beat the hot Arizona sun. But we'll load up all the equipment onto one of our trucks and hopefully we're done by one or two in the afternoon depending on the complexity of your system. Quality is a very important thing for us here at Fusion Power. And it's one of the reasons that we have such good reviews online. All of our jobs are inspected by our quality control specialist to make sure that everything was installed perfectly according. Show the reviews. Show the installation. Show people getting up at 4 a.m. Show 
what the process looks like. Show them on a job site. I, this is missing a lot of B-roll. I know it's a tour, but he's talking about process and what the customer can experience. So I think you should show some of that stuff. According to plan set and according to code. All of our service techs are paid salary and are on call to service your system whenever needed. As you can see, we keep a lot of solar panels here in the warehouse because we cycle through them very, very quickly with the amount of customers that we are installing each week. We want to make sure that you as a customer have access to the very best modules on the market. Customer satisfaction. I, I have not seen so far one solar panel, and this is a solar panel company. So some boxes with solar panels in it. Show me a solar panel. Is our number one priority here at Fusion Power. We want to have the best reviews that we possibly can. And so we will bend over backwards to make sure that each one of our customers is happy with the process from start to finish. Our goal is to give you a world-class customer experience. So that when you talk to your friends and family and coworkers about going solar, you'll feel confident in referring them to us at Fusion Power. If you ever have any questions along the way, please reach out. Our friendly staff is here to help. Come on down and tour the facility if you'd like. You can meet the people that are gonna be working on your project, but we are, we are locally owned. We all live here in the valley. We have a really good staff that is willing to, to, to engage with you and answer your questions. We hope that you can feel part of the Fusion family. Congratulations on going solar. This is super exciting. Love that. Solar is a fun product and it is the future. I would. I like, there's so much about this video that I actually really do like, mostly because of Jared. I think he's a, he's a bat. I should probably say this at the end. Let me say this at the end. Taking the power of the sun, which shines 365 days a year here in Arizona, and be able to turn it into usable electricity is a pretty cool technology. Plus it saves us money and it saves the planet. So we congratulate you. We thank you for trusting Fusion Power and we look forward to serving you. Okay. This video, Jared, I give him 10 out of 10. Jared rocked, he was awesome. I mean, to ask him to basically walk through a building, maintain eye contact constantly with the camera, be articulate with his hands, you know, tell a story and lead people through and do a tour, I think is very difficult for a video like this. And he did an amazing job. I think that the challenges with this video all rest in the production, the editing, and somewhat the shooting. As we talked about, the audio quality was not that great. Um, I think that's just because of the way that it was set up. It was windy outside. I used to live in Arizona. I know it can get just windy out of nowhere. So it was windy. Um, the videographer, you could see him in the glass, so you could see how far away he was. Probably not up close enough, honestly, uh, to get good sounding audio from a shotgun mic. There was lots of transitions between indoors and outdoors. Seemed like they handled it mostly pretty well. Uh, there was a couple of shots that were a little overexposed, but it's almost to be expected shooting in bright daylight um, in Arizona of all places. I would have liked to have saw maybe the congratulations, which was at the end, moved up to the beginning. Why? Because I think that congratulating someone right off the bat is unexpected. People are going to be like, oh, what, what, am, what am I getting? What did I do? What, 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 what's so great? What happened? You know, like you're, you're watching this video, you're considering solar or you've made the move to solar. This is, here's all the things that solar helps solve. And this is why this is worth your time to watch this video. That is critical to put up in the beginning, I think. Um, and he could have said that outside. Um, I think that showing some B-roll while he was talking, you know, one of the things that stood out was about how early people get up in the morning to beat the sun. I would have liked to see some B-roll of the Arizona sun is beating down, you know, and people just sweating and like, Whoa. you know, like I think that that would have added a lot of, of uh, added a lot to the story and conveying this message about We've got this super professional team. They're dedicated. They're going to make this happen for you. They're even going to get up at four in the morning. You know, he made a point to talk about how they were salaried people, probably because a lot of installers and stuff are typically not that dependable. So he wants to show that. So I think, you know, I think showing more visuals is never a bad idea. He rocked going in and out of all the different places. So that was perfect. But I think he could have been helped out a little bit more with, with additional visuals. Overall though, I think it was executed pretty well um, from the talent standpoint, maybe not so much from the production standpoint.
So that's it for this video. I hope that you took away something. Welcome videos, while they're not necessarily the most glamorous thing that you could be recording a video about, they are usually the very first thing that you will create your video about and post it online. So take away these tips, take away this constructive criticism. I hope it helps you. I'll see you in the next video.